Well, my story starts quite a long time ago. I actually said to my daughter on the way here on the train, do you know when I first went on a diet? And she joked and she said my birth date. And I said, well, actually, you're two weeks out. At two weeks old, my mother was told to put me on a diet because I was fed too much food. I was a plump baby and I grew up basically to be a very plump child. My childhood was ruled by the fact that I had a very rigid Victorian father who was sort of um, brought up by grandparents um, and he was always beaten so there we were beaten um, but we were beaten if we didn't eat our food and then it was served up at the next meal and the next meal and the next meal until it was gone and obviously there was beatings in between time if you hadn't eaten it so therefore you learnt to eat it and it was awful um, what you wanted to do as soon as they were out the house or you had the opportunity to, you would steal food. I'm still a food thief, aren't I? Yeah. Um, I got a text from my son this, last night, didn't I? Um, where's the bag of crisps gone? We're not talking about a small bag, we're talking about the finest bag of crisps. Yeah, I ate the lot. Okay. Forgive me, Father, I have sinned. Okay. But hey ho, my story. So throughout my life, obviously, I've been a very plump child and it's gone on and on and on. Um, when I first got married, it was really probably as much as anything else to get away from home. Um, I decided to lose weight. I joined um, Slimming Magazine, Slimming Club. I lost a lot of weight and I actually became a leader. <coughs> Didn't last though, because I became pregnant. And as soon as I became pregnant, of course, you eat for two, don't you? Then my weight soared back up. I hadn't learnt anything, I just learnt to follow what's written on the page, I'll eat this, and that's, I, I just read it and ate it, basically. So my weight has always yo-yoed, it's always gone up and down, and I've never maintained it. Um, going back, I married somebody, I've divorced my first husband, met someone else, remarried. Um, I've lost my thread. Um, my marriage was difficult um, and I decided after my, I lost my parents um, to opt out and move away, didn't I? So I bought another house and I left the marital home and I went and lived somewhere away from home, away from the family and worked there for five years, going home to the family home at weekends because really, I, to be quite honest, I was a coward and wouldn't divorce my husband. But after about five years, children said, come home, Mum. So I did. Things were very difficult. <coughs> they didn't seem to get any better. My weight was obviously going. I'd lost a lot of weight whilst I lived on my own, didn't have those anxieties. As soon as I was back, within months, I'd started piling it back on. And then the fateful day happened. We had all had a week's holiday. Um, Laura had just started her first week's work somewhere. And um, we were all in bed. We got a puppy. Um, I'm on holiday, so I think, oh, a nice lion, and all I could hear was the dog, yap, 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 and it had gone on for about half an hour. So, bedraggled, fat in my great big dressing gown, all messed up and looking atrocious. So I've gone down the stairs to see a strange man standing in the doorway of my living room. But not only that, there was a few more strange people in there, because they were the police, and they had come to see my husband about an offence he'd committed. Um, and basically he was arrested and taken away. Um, I'll leave it to your imagination what he was doing, but I think it was probably pretty obvious, we can all guess. Um, he was found guilty um, and I divorced him. With my children depressed, my daughter wanting to leave home, I wanted to leave home. What the hell do we do? I was so rock bottom. I was really rock bottom. Sorry. My daughter found a leaflet, didn't you, that was for going to have a gastric band. And she begged me, please don't have an operation. So I took on board what they said. And I thought, OK, I won't do this. But I've got to do something. I was so, so desperate to lose weight. By then, obviously, I was at my absolute maximum. I happened to come home from work, I wasn't well or something, or I happened to be at home and I put the television on and I caught the last two minutes of a mother and daughter sitting and talking on breakfast television. 
and I'd lost weight through hypnosis. Oh, I thought, God, that, ca that can't be real, it can't be true. Rubbish. You know, I'd sent off for these leaflets, but hey-ho. So I turned the computer on and I started looking at <coughs> hypnosis things. And I found um, a hypnosis company where I live in, on the borders of Croydon in Epsom, which is about 20, 20 minutes, half an hour drive. And I thought, yeah, for, what, 50 pounds a session. But if I went, uh, I wouldn't want to tell people that I'm going. They probably don't work weekends. I found every excuse not to go to this hypnosis place in Epsom. But then I was fortunate enough to actually be nudged by the dog who moved the thing on the laptop. And lo and behold, I found Easy Loss. And I found their main web page. And I thought, nah, this can't be true. And I read through, and it said they'd got an app. You, you, hey, ho, I've got an iPhone. Whoa. Let's have a look. So I went on there. And there was other ones. There was ones that were on there that were free. But they didn't have any reviews. I looked at one that was a lot dearer than the Easy Loss one. Didn't have any reviews. I've got money on my... Apple account, and I thought, yeah, okay. it was six quid when I bought it, it was six ninety nine. I thought, I'm going to treat myself. So I did, I treated myself, and that was probably on a Wednesday evening. Did I open it? No. It was downloaded on the iPhone, <coughs> didn't look at it, didn't look at it. I had it for about ten days. And that Friday night, where they're sitting downstairs cheering and looking at football and I'm confined to my quarters in my bedroom because I lived in my bedroom basically for two years I thought nothing on nothing ventured nothing gained headphones on listen to it so all I can say is it down well does work um, and if you listen to what's in there we're all intelligent none of us are stupid it does work and you've got to be proud of yourself I'm saying my confidence has totally changed it really has. And I've been working a little bit with the Thrive book as well. And it really does make a difference. But the maintenance, to me, is the biggest achievement more than my weight loss. I know the weight loss is important to those who want to lose it. But even if you lose a stone and can maintain that stone off, if you lose two stone and then maintain it, that's more, that's more important than the outcome, or I think it is. Because other people will know that you've lost that. And well, you should not put it back on. In the meantime, I work with people who have put on weight, lost weight, put on weight, lost weight, left, gone somewhere else, come back. Bloody hell, have you lost a lot of weight? Yeah, I 